All right, welcome back to Vicky3 Academy. I'm Walker, and here we are discussing electrical generation today in our critical technology series on we, on we Play Games. Um, so electrical generation is one of these level three production technologies, and wow, holy crap, there are a lot of really good ones. Um, improved fertilizer's phenomenal. Dynamite's phenomenal. Steam Donkey is even very good. I mean, like, there's there's really not a bad one in the bunch. Like, normally people don't get excited about these sorts of, of effects, but go go watch my video on automation. It's very strong. Um, reinforced concrete is bananas. That's so much more steel. Like, o almost every single one of these level three production techs is really, really good. Um, and so... I, I don't want necessarily to refer you to, to definitely get one of them first, um, because I think it kind of depends on what's going on in your economy at the time. Um, I think sometimes it makes sense to go for dynamite first. I think sometimes it makes sense to go to fertilizer first. But I think that most often it makes sense to go for electrical generation first. And the reason I think is, is twofold. So first of all, electrical generation allows you to um, generate electricity, which is one of these things that's going to create like lots of steps of modifications on products which normally you'd think from like the uh, a macro perspective isn't good um but it is in in 1.0.6 at least this is again one of these things that depending on if they ever re rebalance the way gdp is calculated it might change um but right now the more resource transformations you do on an object um the more value you build into that object the better it is for your gdp and so power plants allow you to do uh, just a lot of different steps of resource transformation. Um, so normally, like, let's just take as a, a broad topic, um, we have here some coal mines, right? We've got coal mines in the French market that's producing a lot of coal. Um, right now our coal is at plus 142, so maybe we want to go ahead and make sure that all of our urban centers are using uh, gas streetlights, right? No, they're not even they're not even using any gas streetlights right now. So we could we could actually, like, spike the the price on gas instead of spiking it all the way let's just let's just add it to um normandy and and rhone right we've added it to normandy and rhone and that's added 210 and 210 so we've added we've added 420 um services which is pretty good for us considering that like generally speaking france is going to have a pretty negative um sell order on services and so this is going to just generate a lot more money for us because um, we're going to be using services taxes most of the time, right? But that's using coal directly and putting it straight into these uh, urban centers, right? With, without any resource transformation going on. What if instead we had electric streetlights? If we had electric streetlights, we'd be using considerably less coal. Um, in fact, we'd be using none. We'd be using, we'd be getting more services, um, and we'd be also employing a better pop type um, than laborers. Laborers typically are paid pretty low, um, and so if you're trying to increase your standard of living, you want to minimize the number of laborers in your in your economy and maximize the number of higher. Um, to your pop types. And so going into electric streetlights is incredibly strong for us. Let's just, let's just experiment. Um, so let's pick up electrical generation. That allows us to build power plants now. So I do have fast build and fast enact on um, and all this stuff just so we can do a little bit of, a little bit of science here. Um, yeah, we can build in Brittany, sure. So we're gonna go ahead and add just like a five, five stack of, of uh, power plants. But those are going to go ahead and buy tons of engines, right? So engines, where do engines come from? And this is where you got to start thinking about not just like the upfront thing, uh, the upfront part of, of, oh, wow, we don't even have any. Yeah, you, you don't want to just think about the upfront cost of something. But you also want to think about the resource transformation of it. You want to think about how this good um, creates demand in your economy, right? The creation of, of mo a motor industry here is going to increase demand for steel um, by quite a lot. And so now we, we're, again, adding even further pressure. But steel is also going to itself use coal, right? So we would have to add some steel mill somewhere. Um, and by adding all of these resource transformations, we've taken base coal and put it in through the steel mill. And then through the steel mill, we've put it into the, the motor. And then through the motor, we've put it into the electricity. And now we have electricity. 
and now we can go in here and we can change this over to street lights and now we've we've added we've added electricity to this which has allowed us to add um extra value to every step of the production process um and as it turns out power plants are also pretty efficient um in terms of what they get for you like electricity is just an incredibly powerful tool especially once you can get it up to a coal-fired plant this thing is an absolute masterpiece of of power generation for you because it because of what it where you can use it you can use it in urban centers to boost your services that's really good um but even immediately without doing any follow-up research you can use it in electric sawmills which is going to explode your wood production um which even if you're using a, a like a higher tier construction sector unless you're in steel frame buildings you're still going to need some wood and so having having um electric sawmills is going to be helpful there and if you aren't and you're just using um you're just using steel uh frame buildings then you can start switch into electric sawmills and switch everything over to hardwood and just be happy with with your your reasonable amount coming in you can also use electric fences which is going to dramatically reduce the amount of laborers that you need um and importantly Electrical generation is one of these things that that all of these rec even stronger requisite technologies are going to flow out of. Steam turbines going to just get you infinite electricity. Electrical capacitors is sort of like the big big victory for having electricity. Um, and fortunately, it's just a level three, so it's not like impossibly expensive either. It'll it'll take a little while, but it, you will get there. And that's going to add electric sewing machines and automatic power looms. I mean. If you have, if, and brine electrolysis, holy cow, if you have ever um, had big and powerful textile mills because you picked up silks and dyes and cottons and could just do those for basically for free, um, then you understand that just adding a bunch of extra production or reducing a bunch of labor in there, those are both really powerful things, um, really, really powerful things. So electrical generation, this is, this is sort of like a, a pinnacle technology for the mid game uh like the early mid game i think that probably you should be targeting this in the 1840s or 1850s depending on how developed your nation starts um i would i would aim to get it no later than the 1860s even as as a minor nation simply because of how powerful it is and what it does to your to your economy okay that's walker uh that's we play games and that's electricity take care